Hello everybody and welcome to the factory. Satisfactory is the name of the game. Factory is what we built. I thought I'd show you guys, share with you guys uh, my little factory I got going so far here. Ain't nothing real fancy or anything, but a good start. This is our ground floor here. Got the basics being made. And I just recently added this part of it on so we can make it even bigger. This is our storage area. Then I got it got too full, so I had to start building them up top too. That's what this is. Oh, well, we got us a bioman liquid biomass going down here. It's our water pump there. This is our mixer. It's a little buffer tank. Hodes liquid biofuel. There's a generator here. We got two of them only. We only got one running right at the moment because that's all we really need. Back off over that direction. Yeah, we'll go over here. We'll follow these power lines over here. This is where we've got our cold generators. We've got four cold generators over here. That's 250 megawatts each one these are putting out. Weird alien creatures. Got their space elevator there. We shouldn't send shit out into outer space with that. That completes our phases. It's called Project Assembly. Here we got some miners. These right here are iron miners. They're mining iron. This is my basic. This is what I started with right here. Got your basic uh, screws, iron rods, iron plates, cable, wire, concrete. Then we got our hub. This is our main thing. It comes with two biomass generators on it. That's what you start off with, basically. Then of course I had to add some more biomass generators. So they're not really doing anything right at the moment. They're just kind of sitting there. This right here is what I used to make the biomass. These are called conveyor or constructors, right? So we put like uh, biomass in here. It'll go through here and just turn into solid biofuel. Then it'll come out here. And uh, we'd have solid biofuel. That's our limestone up there for the concrete. This right here is our little copper. Copper mine. We do have another nob up here. If we need to tap into it, we can. The creatures are usually they'll attack you, but I got them turned on passive, so they're all friendly. I've noticed I've played this game a little bit different than everybody else. I actually like to build, you know, like a factory factory, a building and have everything in it and everything. Have it on the ground, not just floating way up in the air. That's just the way I like to play it. Kind of make it kind of realistic, like a lot of people, they just do like this right here, a little platform out in the middle there, and they'll just build everything on it. Maybe I'm playing the game wrong, I don't know, but that's just the way I like to play it. When I very first started playing, I just started, when you have no foundations or nothing, I just started shit down in the ground. It looked like a bowl of spaghetti by the time we got done. See, this ain't too bad. This is actually pretty good for me. 
We are... We are 10 hours into this uh, map. If I play 10 hours, this is what I've got all within 10 hours of playtime. We're on uh, phase two of the project assembly, which is phase a little better. There's nine phases. We're on phase two, and we're just waiting for stuff to get done being made. Then we'll send that shit off to the space elevator. Then we got milestones. They're like goals you can reach. And we use the hub here to do that. Tells you what you need to complete that hub. To go like this one's extended power infrastructure. I'll get um, big aligned power uh, power poles, and I can stretch the cables really far, which is going to be good because we got to get some. Uh, I get some uh, ports, and it's way, way the hell over there. It's way over here. This is where the quartz is. And this is what we're at. I could take this. I don't even know if we'll be able to see it because it might be too far. But it is. There it is. It's a little white beam sticking up. And this map is huge. There's four different bows, bombs on this map. So you got like this your desert over here. This right here is your northern forest. And you got your, uh, uh, what do they call that? I don't know. It's kind of weird blue, blue, I don't remember what it's called. Majestic Forest, maybe? I don't know. And then you got your, like, your open plains, too, or some back off of that way some more. So I thought I'd just share with you guys my gameplay of this. We are waiting on uh, 80 something. We should be able to turn this milestone in and get our completed. Yeah. You hit the red button, that'll send it off. And it sends it from. Milestone reached. After several pioneers started exhibiting traumatic responses okay. to power blackouts, okay. Fixit developed mitigation tools recommended by your local therapist. Power storages can hold excess power to delay or prevent blackouts in the eventuality that your factory's power consumption exceeds production. To simplify, these are rechargeable batteries. Power towers carry power lines for significantly greater distances than poles, facilitating factory expansion and exploitation of this environment for the good of Fixit and humanity. So that thing, it's a little freighter that just went off to sends the shit off. I don't know why we just don't send it with space elevator, but I don't know the freighter. That's what we use. I just thought I'd share with you guys a little bit of gameplay here. Um, I didn't play much of American Truck Simulator this week. I haven't really played much of anything this week, to the truth. I've been kind of, uh, I've been feeling the greatest. That and American Truck I don't know, I'm having problems with that game.
Anyways, we'll get back to it as soon as, uh, as, soon as I get the game stable. It sucks you spent an hour and a half driving somewhere and then right at the end, the last five minutes, like the last 30 miles, then the game crashes and you gotta start over again. But these are our milestones. And from here we can pick one and it tells us what we need and this is what we get rewards cost. I'm going to go ahead and set that one. We're probably, yeah, we're not going to do it just yet. We're going to run these, uh, run this power over there to the courts. Let's see, we'll just do number four as the power. Alright, that tower, that tower. Our switch. They got all these switches and stuff too. I don't know how to use any of this. I'd like to know how to use it. It looks like it'd be interesting. You could do a lot of cool things with it, but I just haven't got it figured out yet. Okay, let's go back down to. Um, Okay, this is just number eight. Here we go. Let's get started. So, we will first. Let's grab some more uh, resources. If I can go here like this, then we can find the power pole and I can put this plush button here. I'll add it to a to-do list. Tells you everything you need. So. Okay, that takes wire. So I mean, we got plenty of everything. Okay, that should give us everything we need.
There is our corpse. There is our crystal. Crystal there and crystal there. That's our power in over here. I don't know if I have enough resources, but if we do, I can put a miner down. Yeah, we got enough. Got the MK2 Mach 2 miner. this down now uh, this is a splitter here it's going to split the conveyor belts as you can see the orange one is the one that goes in the other ones are going out so we got to make sure we get those lined up like that then we'll take our conveyor belt and just run it back across like that and there you go Take this, put a wire, hook it there. That's going to give us power to it. Um, so like a barrel quartz into a constructor, and that'll give us silica. Silica, we need this so we can make glass. We can put windows in our. Uh, or the windows in the rest of the uh, factory. So we're going to go to switch to hotbar 2 here. We're going to want an input. That'll be a number 1. Again, got to get it lined up. Doesn't have to be perfect. Not close enough. vehicles they got a little jeep or a little they got a tractor they got a like a little buggy you know, a truck that you can use and the train you can lay track down use train I don't really use the vehicles I used to I'll use the train when I get to it when I get it unlocked with the other vehicles I don't really use, I just fly around like this. Like I said, I got my own way of kind of playing the game. Alright, so... Put this uh, little thing that goes through the wall. We'll put that there like that. Eight. We'll go from this tele this electric pole to the wall. Then from the wall, we'll go down to there. And that'll give us power throughout the uh, whole the whole thing. So we should be making, should be mining uh, quartz. All right, for the assembly line, like I said, we're going to need a, we we'll just need a constructor. That's all it takes just to make those some quartz. We'll go ahead and build one of those. Go back to our hot bar one here. Nope, hot bar two. We'll put an output down. 
like that. That's going to connect them both. Just like that. Then we come over here. Pick up our lines after that to there. And click back on our constructor. We'll put silica. All quartz will go into silica. Yep, it's already starting. Alright, this is the output over here. If you see the, like the little bracket right there, that's the output. The input's got uh, three lines. You can see three lines, three lines. That's input, input, output. To help you know the difference. But we're going to do another input here. We need more plate. We need more iron plates. our empty storage here. The lines help you know if it's lined up with the stuff. Like with an uh, hoe to a hoe will be dotted lines and then like this. Yeah, I got the solid line there. That just tells me it's lined up in a row. Keep things organized. Put that together. Yep, there we go. We got the silica coming out. Right. Needs to be fixed. Well, when he's here, the plan is. We're going to build some walls here. Maybe I get to work the way I want it to. I didn't plan this out good enough when I first it sounded good in my head. It's time.
Yeah, that just ain't gonna work. Never build to get to look right. So we'll get rid of these. See where the smart wiring is or automated wiring right there, that one? Okay. Then we'll just go like we did with the one downstairs. Organization. Those are going the wrong way. Problem is, these right here, sh all this should have been moved that way more. I planned on putting them long ways like that, but that just ain't gonna work. Now, if I go to put them the other way, then it doesn't leave you as much room. You need room between this wall and the back of the storage container to uh, I did these enough room so you can walk back through here. I just stacked them on top. See what that looks like. Good thing about this game is it doesn't cost you resources. So once you destroy something, you get all everything back. Otherwise, I'd be screwed. <laughs> Would be screwed. All right, maybe can't do nothing but the big pile of sand in the corner. <laughs> just like that one. Go 
that'll give us plenty of storage. I think we'll just do it this way. All right, that's the right way. Let's put some of these big ones down. Two, three, four big ones, six small ones. That should be a couple more small ones. It's just to make it look better, really.
Okay, I'll put this here. The big guys are underneath the factory right there. For the silica, do the same thing. This one will go into a big one because. We'll end up with a lot of it. Like that, we'll put all that in there too. This is our biomass, this right here is our packer. Okay, we got that to care. Let's see if we can do this uh, milestone here. We need uh, 25 reinforced plates. It's going to be up top. 200 of the rod. Got 200 of the rod. 25 rotors, yep. Our plates, already got that, yep. 500 of the cables, we got 152. Okay, that should do 500. We'll go back over here, we'll add all this stuff into it. And that one off. Wah, boom. In fact, if that's a vehicle, we can get enough wood. It's just a work in progress, so I'm not even going to worry about that. Okay. Got a thousand of that. 200, yeah. 200 or 50. Yeah, we got. Okay. I'm just going to wait for our transporter to get back. Recipes we'll put in at the table. Helps uh, preserve space. 
I don't have to get rid of the shit. I can just pack it up. It packs it up. 50 items into one stack. And we got 765. First top frames. We need 1,440 on that. 100 of the wiring. Oh, yeah, we good. We're just waiting on the frames and the uh, smart plating. These are power shards. You can overclock your machines with them right now. Our clock speed's at 100. I put one power shard in there that'll overclock at 50%. So that's 150 there and it's 200 here. And it's going 62 per minute now. So it's doubled what it was. At, um, 124. These conveyor belts are the Mach 3s, and they can do 270 resources per minute. What in the hell? It ain't Christmas time. I bet they'll take care of tier three. I don't know how to do the blueprints. 
And I'm not going to use the hypertubes. We might use hypertubes. I doubt it, but we might. That's basically it. Unlock tier five and tier six. We got to complete our uh, phase two projects assembly of this space elevator. So motors and uh, heavy modular frames. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. All right, let me get the calculator out of here. Call it the calculator. It's a website that helps you pick your uh, symbol lines. Tells you what you need, what machines you need, and what order to put them in. Probably squeeze that in here. Smelter Green on the frames. Smelter, iron, iron, coal, copper. Okay, so here we'll need this will be for wire. Pipes. Rods. Okay, the iron, the steel pipes, and the wire will go into a Assembler. Have a splitter. Oh, 
for the screws and rods will go into this one. Input there. Okay, still in gets. Later. Right. We're gonna have iron rods in there somewhere. No, I shouldn't change the plan. Actually, it's in the wrong spot.
Blues. Boogers, motors, crews, it's pipes, wires, metal, copper, iron, iron. Okay, we'll have two outputs. Missing rods. Okay, that'll be iron. That one will be cold.
Und Harold hält mich am Wiegel die auf. Und dann wird der Frames auf dem Grab, da habe ich die Frames. I was surprised I got this one squeezed in there like I did. Well, there you guys go. This is uh, satisfactory for you. If you enjoyed it, let me know. We'll put some more videos up of it. Hopefully, we'll get a mega truck simulator going back here pretty soon. I'm going to work on it here in a little bit and see what I can do with it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm sure to appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment down below. We'll see you guys in the next video.